Next game up here, we got an SEC tilt. 6 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Florida heads to Lexington, Kentucky. The Wildcats, a seven and a half point underdog at home, total of 55. Brother, I, my line on this was Florida minus 10. I don't think Kentucky has figured out all of their their flaws yet, all of their issues. While I think that they can throw the football on Florida, uh, I don't think they're going to be able to run it as easily as they have on some of these other teams. I Man, the turnover bug is a problem. Is, is there anybody else in the country that you can think of that is undefeated right now through four weeks that has a negative nine turnover margin? I mean, they've given the ball away nine oh. times. Just absurd. Not, not just not just this year that I can think of. I don't know that I've ever seen that. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. So They better be glad they were doing it a bunch against a bunch of cream puffs, okay? Yes. Yeah. The, the problem is, like, I, I thought they would have it fixed by last week when they went to South Carolina, but even then, they, it turned, fixed, man. they turned it over three times and still covered the spread at South Carolina. Like, that's, it, that I, is the sign I don't of a good think team. This is one, I don't think this is a, I don't think this is a, a fixed possibility though i think this is one of those things this is who you are i mean it's like we talked about it with Jameis winston back in the day and you know this is sometimes this is just who you are yeah yeah my, my line was 10 it opened at eight it jumped out to like eight and a half and then it jumped out to nine and now it's back down to seven and a half again a lot of a lot of kentucky love now that we're getting into into the week but yeah i'm, I'm gonna take florida uh who uh who you rolling with are you taking the, the wildcats here no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm doing the same thing, man. But you, but you know how I feel about Dan Mullins. I think Dan Mullins is one of the best coaches in the SEC. I think he's one of the best coaches in the country. Indeed. I think this guy is better at getting his team prepared to play week in and week out from an X's and O's perspective and game calling better than almost anybody. And uh, he's not a likable person, okay? He's an easy guy to make fun of, and, 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 and those types of things affect what people think of him. I think... This Kentucky team is really good. I think this Kentucky team is much improved. I think this defense isn't close to as good as they were last year at all. They just haven't been tested. They haven't played a good team. I think Florida's a very, very good team. I think Florida's going to come out. I, and, and I think Florida's got a chance to, to kind of whip them up pretty good. I, you, you might be your right. Line of 10 points, your line of 10 points seems about where I thought this game should be, but I knew there was no way the books would have it at that. Yeah, that that does make sense. All right, so we're both rolling. And I like Kentucky. No, same here, same here. I love it. But and this is a showcase kind of game for them. But man, I think there's just too many there's too many mistakes being made all over the field with that team. So yeah. So we'll see. We we both like Florida minus the seven and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.